and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Alright, so in between episodes, I did a little bit of grinding for a bunch of people and changed a few jobs around. For one thing, Marche is a ninja now. Because I decided to start teaching him some ninja skills. So yeah, he's going to be a ninja for a while, so that should be fun. Uh, Mont Blanc here, I actually switched over to Gunner. So now he shoots guns. Gunners, it's pretty self-explanatory what gunners do. Also, before I forget, no, you don't have any more abilities you can equip. Alright, Ogan's still a fighter, like always. Nell and I actually switched over to Illusionist for a bit, because I kind of realized that right now, our party is kind of lacking in, like, powerful magic users, and I don't want to use a Morpher quite yet. Not until we can get some good items going and actually raise our monsters right. And if Morpher doesn't work, we could always just keep him as an Illusionist. Cheetah isn't part of the main team. Lisa's still an ele Elementalist. And Ford is not part of the main team. And yeah, Emmett's still a bishop. So other than that, not much has changed. And everyone got like a level or two because we're heading into a pretty... I would say this is kind of a tougher story mission that we're doing right now. That's also not my missions. There we go. So yeah, let's do this. Time to go investigate some ghosts in the cave. Oh, we're gonna get a gun out of this. Nice. There's also another mission we could do, Cursed Bride. But the problem with this one is, um... It's hard, like, way too hard for us at this point in the game. Basically, the enemy in this one is like level 20, I think 26, and we're like around 12 and 13 at the moment, so... Yeah, there's no time limit on this one at least, so you know what, I'm just gonna grab it right now, and we'll just do it when we're ready to do it, which is not right now. And y'all worry about like all these dispatch missions after we finish up in the cave. So, let's go. After I check my mission, okay, uh, do I, uh, do I need color magic right now? I guess it wouldn't hurt, no, yeah, we should definitely keep color magic on board, no, never mind, yeah, we're not doing that. Let's let time pass a bit. Oh, hey, I forgot I sent someone on a mission. Okay. Oh, right, I'm out of room for cards. Maybe I should go turn something in. Ooh. You know what? Sure, welcome to the team. Yeah, I might start cleaning out some old members at some point. We, uh, we kind of have a lot of people on the clan right now that aren't really doing anything. I'm definitely going to have to look through everything and see who I can basically clean out. Alright, so now what's, what are the laws? Frog and steel. Alright, that's fine with me. We're not going to be doing any stealing this mission. Because there aren't going to be any humanoid enemies. Alright, so let me just double check this again. Thai magic and frog magic. Okay, we can't have like frog, so yeah, we're fine. Wait, what? Hold on. I misread that apparently, but never mind, we're still fine. Alright, let's go. I think I accidentally read a day ahead instead of the day we were on. So let's check out these ghosts, I guess. Seems normal, so... Okay, never mind. Yeah, Marche's just kind of hardened to all the weird stuff in Evil at this point. He's already fought, like, dragons and zombies and mystical god guardians. A ghost is nothing. Plus, we could probably stab it. That, on the other hand... That looks familiar. So we found another crystal. I kind of forgot just how quickly you found the crystals in this part of the game. I remember there being a lot more... Uh, for, uh, this section, but whatever. We found ourselves a third crystal. And we found ourselves another Totoma. Who just ate our ghost friend? And also, Marche is just hell-bent on destroying all the crystals at this point. He's not even pretending to justify it anymore. Alright, got ourselves some dragons. That could be tough. But yeah, it's a Dremelak. He is pretty dangerous, actually, so we need to be careful in this battle. 
I think he's also like level 15, so yeah, we're still pretty under level, but I think we can take him on. Alright, so before we do anything, let's bring everyone out. So yeah, the loss should be fine. Just want to double check that. Yep, we're good. So yeah, Nellen, I actually equipped him with something very specific. I equipped him with a blaze robe, because a Drimlock uses a lot of fire magic. And he could honestly one-shot Nellen if we're not careful, like turn one. So we're going to be careful and make sure he doesn't die to fire. Everyone else should be tanky enough to take a few hits, I think. Also, why do you have a wizard hat on? One second. Here, put on a, a, head, a headband. Actually, one second. Can I also equip... I want to make sure as many people are immune to fire as possible. I think I only have one blaze robe. I only have one blaze robe, though. Never mind. We do have a flame shield, though. I don't think anyone here can equip shields, so never mind. So yeah, we'll just have to be careful in that case. Actually, wait, what am I doing? I forgot, Mont Blanc isn't a melee attacker anymore. He can sit in the back. Lisa, you get out there. And where is Emmett? There's Emmett. Alright, but this is our team. We should be okay. Actually, can you equip a shield? No, you can't equip shields. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else we can do at the moment. I think this should be good. Wait, there is one thing I almost forgot. Do you know the move I hope you know? Because if so, we might want to get a Beastmaster out there. No, we can't learn anything from you. Never mind. Okay. Let's go. So yeah, we can learn something from Thunder Drakes, but he doesn't know it. It's Dragon Force. We can't learn Dragon Force from him. Alright, but time for our third Totoma battle. This one is... This one can be really dangerous if we're not careful. For one thing, he doesn't actually have to move to attack us at the moment. He has a basically, not room-wide, but like room-ranged attack. Where he can hit us from where he is in a straight line. Which is why we kind of want to avoid getting everyone lined up like this. Actually, yeah, right now it's a terrible situation. There are three people right in his path. Also, I forgot that was recommended today. Nice. Oh, we also confused the dragon. So he's gonna turn against his enemy, or his, uh, former boss. Yeah, I expected that. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Is Mothlock gonna survive this? Yes, because it completely missed him. But yeah, that's a fire elemental attack. It hurts. A lot. So right now, my main goal is to basically try to... Oh, actually, if I can get a dagger into the boss, we could basically make him not that dangerous. Also, yeah, no one knows elemental... Ma or now elemental... Uh, illusionist magic now. Basically, what illusionist magic is, is one thing, it's expensive. Like, really expensive. But the other thing is that it's room-wide. It hits every single enemy on the map. It's also not as strong as normal black magic, but hey, he doesn't need to move, so... He's just going to basically stand there and do this until his MP runs out. Unfortunately, yeah, accuracy still applies, and it can be kind of low. Oh well. Alright, so Marche, let's see if we can get... Uh, what can we do right now? Oh, we could try a combo. Do we dare use a combo? Or do we just straight up poison him? Let's try to poison him. I do want to try using a combo attack at some point. It might be helpful. Or it might turn out horribly. Oh, poison didn't go down. Alright, I kind of expected that to be honest. Uh, no, Wild Swing is terrible here. Don't use Wild Swing. But yeah, my main strategy right now, just focus down the boss. Forget all the other enemies. They don't matter right now. What does matter, though, is one thing I'm going to get you out of the way. And also, Totoma time. I want to get this out of the way, too. Just so that he can start earning more AP, or JP. So yeah, what better way to fight Totoma than with our own Totoma? Unfortunately, Ultima's kind of useless here, because MP damage isn't that great for this battle. Alright, not 
terrible. I do want to see if I can get rid of a couple of those dragons. Also, yeah, uh, don't hit. Well, Marche's down. That's not good. It's fine, we can raise him. But yeah, that's the one thing about Ninja. They're kind of squishy. Oh, this might hurt, because I think I know what... Yep, he's doing what I thought he was going to do. Oh, God. Ooh, that's not good. My healer is down. Okay. So let's get Marche up. And let's move you out of the way, like, as far away as possible, and try to get everyone else up too. Well, he's all more already half dead. Also, yeah, surprisingly, his standard attack isn't that dangerous for the most part. Compared to his, like, dragon friends. Oh, they're all lined up perfectly, but... Fine, we'll use actual magic for the... Actually, no, not fire. Uh... Actually, wait, does he absorb fire? One second. I think he might. Actually, I don't know if we can tell. Actually, no, I don't think he does absorb fire. Fine, in that case. No, get back to... There. Nope, he does not absorb fire. Nice. But yeah, if I can take out a couple of these dragons, we should be a lot safer. Do I want to take out this guy? Actually, what else do you know, Marche? You know how to throw weapons, but that's not really helpful right now. Yeah, let's just take out a couple of these dragons then. Until at least until I can get my healer back up. Also, if I can get rid of all the non-fire enemies, we should be a lot safer because Nellie can absorb pretty much all fire attacks at this point. There we go. Half the enemies are gone now. Marche might go down again because he's kind of standing in the middle of two dragons. Well, one dragon and one... I don't know what to describe him as. A kind of god creature? Who knows? Here's the thing, though. Can we disable him? Because if we can disable him, we're pretty much good. Uh, the answer is... Nope. That didn't land. Ooh, Marche might go down if he... Yeah, oh wait, no. Yeah. That's also my only way to revive people at the moment. Please miss. 50% chance of hitting, I believe. Please miss. Please miss. Ah, uh, okay, we're gonna need to be careful here then. It might come down to Mont Blanc basically guiding the boss around the arena for a while. Also this. Yeah, we're gonna need to do some level grinding at this point of the game. We're kind of, well not severely under level, but we're a few levels behind. We're also probably gonna want to get some better equipment too. Also, I might start switching over to actual, like, normal magic. Yep, I expected that. Never mind, he might not be surviving this turn. Actually, no, 32... Yeah, for some reason, his physical attacks aren't that great. I don't know why. Also, combo time. Let's actually show this off. Basically, combo is a super attack. It depends on what weapon you have equipped. It can be decent if you have a good weapon equipped, and if there are multiple people with combo abilities near you, uh, they can all participate. In this case, though, nah, it didn't really work out that well. Alright, let's see if we can get rid of this dragon. Ooh, do I wanna... Do I wanna try to get Don't Act on him again? 
You know what? Sure. That other dragon can't really get to us at this point without going through my other uh, ally over there. No, okay, you know what? Screw it. We're not gonna try that anymore. Also, yeah, I wouldn't use normal magic, but that would kind of hit any of our party members, and I don't want that right now. That being said, we don't have the MP to do that again, so we might have to switch back over to normal black magic. There we go. Alright, but I think we might have this at this point. Man, we missed out on so much experience for my two un or undead, on my two unconscious party members, but oh well. Yeah, I don't know why his physical attacks are a lot- I remember these actually hitting really hard. Huh. Guess I'm misremembering things. Also, yeah, because of his position, he can't really do anything at the moment, which is fine with me. Let's see if we can- actually, no, silence probably won't help. I guess more guns? More guns. Actually, no, I'm gonna keep throwing daggers. I'm hoping these will hit once. Actually, it might have been better to stand in front of him. Oh well. Just so that he couldn't move. He is really low now, though. Actually, do I have any blue magic that might help? Do I want Goblin Punch? No. Drain Touch might not be a t uh, 15 d attack. 27. Also, yeah, we can throw weapons now. This is a good way to get rid of old weapons we don't need, like another ninja knife. Uh, 8. Yeah, at this point, I think a normal attack would be the most damaging. Actually, Elgin might be able to finish him off this turn. Also, no, we cannot hunt him, unfortunately. That would have been hilarious if we had shown up at the, like, monster farm with this guy in tow. But no, I'm pretty sure they would kick us out if we brought him. Also, they might catch on that we're the ones destroying the crystal if we bring a guardian of one of them to the farm. But yeah, that went... I would say a lot smoother than I thought it would go, but honestly, that was a bit rough. But that's a third Totoma beaten. I guess. I mean, those are the same things, Marche. Energy and magic are probably really similar. But that's the third crystal broken. Two more to go. I think. We're assuming there are five because there are five races, but you never know, maybe there's a sixth or a seventh. Oh, hi. I killed a ghost. That was what my mission was. Oh, right. This happens every time we break a crystal. He does have a good point there. Yeah, Mute's not enjoying this. But that's three crystals down. Also, we now have to tumble for Bonga. It works like the Moogle one. AKA it's good, because it does HP damage. But yeah, we might want to do some level grinding before we move on to the main story. Also, I need, yeah, I definitely need to go trade in some cards. All right, we got ourselves a new town. Where do we want to put this? Let's try putting it a bit further away from the t other towns. 
How about... It's a port city, so I think right here is actually perfect. Okay. Let's go check out the new town. I think this is the Moogle town? Each of the towns are basically have a single race. Oh, hey! Speaking of Moogles... Also, we've known each other for, like, years at this point in game. I don't think we're new anymore. Oh. You have cars? Oh, airships. An airship would be really helpful. Can we have an airship? Oh, I guess not. Oh, we're here now. So yeah, Yogs are a new element of the game that we'll be running into soon. Also, fun fact, Yogg is hunt in German. But yeah, Yoggs are basically a lawless zone, so laws don't apply there. Which is good on one on the one hand, it, that is really good. But yeah, there is definitely a cost to that. No, I kind of just assume that the enemy just stopped hitting them once they're down. But no, it's because of the judges. As long as judges are around, you can't die in battle. But in a Yogg, that protection is not a thing anymore. But yeah. Yogs can be really, really dangerous if we're not careful, which is another reason I kind of want to do a bit of leveling beforehand. Because the Yogs are the only way you can permanently lose party members, outside of just letting them go. So yeah, we'll have to be a bit more powerful if we want to go to the next story mission. Oh yeah, whatever happened to him? All right. Actually, wait, we're in Bioga Port right now. You're not gonna go very far. But yeah, like I was saying before, every town is basically associated with a single race, and any weapons that are associated with that race are cheaper there, actually. Okay, yep, here's our first Yogg. Let's stick it, we could stick it right next to the town, but no. Uh, let's stick it like right over here. Also, you had Sans under attack, great. Yep, it's Moogles. So any weapons that are associated with, like, Moogle jobs are actually cheaper here, like, guns. I think. Guns should be cheaper here, let me see. Oh my god, I forgot how many weapons there are. Yeah, I think guns are a bit cheaper here. Okay. Alright, but like I said, we're not heading to the next story mission right now. I'm gonna do a bit of power leveling beforehand. So what can we do here? Travel aid? Oh, who wants to go help out the Coringwood? You'll be gone for five enemies. Anyone good enough to do this? Nope. Nope. Actually, Laura could probably do it if he had equipment. Actually, yeah, one second. Let me put some equipment on Loric. He can probably take care of it. Where is he? There he is. I might switch him over to Thief at some point, too. Actually, let's just switch him over to Thief right now. Actually, no, we already have a thief, don't we? Never mind, stay as an animus. I might make him into a Mog Knight then. So, what's the best weapon I have for you? Probably the War Trumpet? 
What's the War Trumpet teach? Goblin Panther. Okay, yeah. You're gonna have that. Get you some ninja gear. I don't want to give you a gold hairpin, but you can have a wizard hat. And then some accessories should do it. Alright, let me see. Are you good enough to do this mission now? Also, at some point, we should probably defend you at Sands. Eh. They'll be gone for five enemies. That's not that many. You know what? Nellan, you can go take care of this. We'll see you soon. We might just do a quick grinding mission to get him back. Wait, what? Okay, we're gonna go beat up a mailman, apparently. Uh, fine. Seems a bit violent on how we can take care of this, but yeah, this is a hunt mission, so we're literally gonna go chase down a mailman and beat him up and take the mail back. There's gotta be a better way of doing that. Still no broken sword, by the way. Here, I'll do these dispatch missions later, because I kind of want to get this mission done before I do this, just so that I can send out my other team members. Because we do have a timeline when we have to get it done by. We have 25 days. So yeah, we're going to do that next time. So next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, I'm going to go hunt this guy down. And then at some point we might head over to the Yogg, but yeah, we're not going there right now. So till then.